Good afternoon, this is Lynx. I'm going to illustrate a point here that I think a lot of readers wonder about, and some of you may have asked, why does this happen? Why, when you are right on about the past, about the present, and you feel absolutely dead certain about what's coming in the future, why does it seem to go in another direction? Or why don't predictions come true? Or why does a prediction kind of come true, but then has other elements to it and shifts. This is, if you've ever wondered why a prediction doesn't come true, this is a pretty good illustration, or at least the best illustration I can come up with to show you why. So let's say you're doing a reading for someone, right? And we're going to do a, just a quick past, present, future, right? So we've got a past, questing beast, present and future, oh, three came up, so present, and then we got a future. Okay, all right. So let's say this is this is a common one too. So let's say this guy comes to you, and he's uh, fantasizing about this woman. Okay, he's got this fantasy about this woman, and then he's thinking about her all the time. There's two of cups, and then it looks like four of spears, queen of spears. It looks like she's actually going to be. There's going to be a marriage. Okay, and then he's all excited about that told him exactly what he wanted to hear. Everything looks like it's coming that way. She leaves him. She hates him. She drops dead. She goes off with some other dude. Uh, he ends up missing the boat entirely. What happened? It was very clear. It was very clear that they were going to get married. Okay. This cup represents your prediction right here. The empty cup, the empty glass, represents your prediction as it's coming, okay? So, you make this prediction, let's say the, the, this is the past, all right? The past is done, it's fixed. He's been fantasizing about it or whatever, it's done. There's nothing you can do to change that. The past is the past. That would be like a full glass, right? Now you got your present, which is kind of, you know, you're in the middle of it, but there's still potential. That's like a, a half full glass, right? The future here is like an empty, empty glass. You tell him what he wanted to hear, right? So now let's say this guy's a little nervous, a little bit of a worrier, a little bit of a, oh my God, I can't believe it, a little doubtful. He wanted to hear what you told him. It was actually coming that way. He's actually moving towards him. Now he starts to freak out. Now he starts to want to micromanage it. Now he starts to go, oh my God, is it really true? So he spends every waking moment worrying about whether or not the prediction is really going to come true. Well, this was the prediction as you made it. But now, all this worry comes into the picture. And suddenly... All that potential of what was coming is suddenly filled with something. It's not the same thing anymore. So now, what was coming is suddenly changed by all that worry on his part. Now let's say he starts to worry about it, and then he feels it himself like it's starting to change, and then boom, worries a little more. Now there's a little less potential. So now let's say, he goes and tells his best friend, and his best friend puts her two cents in. Now that's changed. Let's say now he goes to another psychic, and they tell him something else. There's another piece. Now let's say he goes and talks to his mother. There's the mother's opinion. Totally. Now this is what's coming his way. No longer what you originally saw, no longer what was headed in his direction, he's actually changed it. So let's say you make a public prediction. Public prediction says there's gonna be a certain outcome. You present it in a public way. Now, all these other people are adding their two cents, their opinions, what they want, what they want the outcome to be. Now suddenly, this longer what you were seeing. This is something else. 
until you looked at it, it was this. Until you told the individual, it was this. Until the individual started adding all the pieces, it was this. The minute they knew, the minute they started worrying, hoping, desiring, the whole outcome started to change. That's the best illustration I can give of why a prediction doesn't come true the way that you saw it coming true. And the more people involved, the more they can add their two cents, the more easily it can change. I'm Lucky Links. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, put them in the thing below. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, wishing you success and good fortune. If you would like to schedule a reading, text me 779-302-8009 or email me at conjurehope, C-O-N-J-U-R-E-H-O-P-E, all one word, at gmail.com. Again, wishing you success and good fortune in all you do, and may you find the future that you are seeking.